the library systems that you oversee, um, which we all trace back, I suppose, to Andrew Carnegie. Um, there's a connection there as well because Sesame Workshop's initial funding came from the Carnegie Corporation and a foundation executive named Lloyd Morissette, who some of you may know because his wife Mary was very involved in the Irvington Public Libraries. And in fact, I don't know if I can say this, but folklore has it that she was the leading force in building that wonderful new facility uh, on the banks of the Hudson that's been created in Irvington. So libraries, Carnegie, uh, dealing with this changing environment are sort of all in our blood. Um, so I actually have a couple of clips I brought tonight, um, which I know is, is cheating, but because we work in television, we have the complete authority to do this. So we want to show you a little bit of some of those early debates that were going on with our founders at Sesame Street. So if we could roll that first little clip. I think you'll get the idea. Well, we ought to say something about the show telling it like it is. Maybe, maybe the nitty gritty little kitty show. You know, I, I, like, I, that. I like that. Well, then how about the itty bitty nitty gritty little kitty show? These kids can't read or write, can they? No. Then how's about we call the show Hey Stupid? <laughs> Do you really think you're going to get this show on the air? Introducing a new television series for children. Look right, look right in there, Bert. In there? You're right in there? Yeah, look a little closer. C is for Cookie, that's good enough for me. Rubber Ducky, you're the one. Doing pigeon. Over and under and through. I'm the king of eight and I'm here to state that everything here has to total eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The ladybugs came to the ladybugs picnic. Have a rotten day. Yeah. Uh, it was my kind of guy. <laughs> 